I might not want to introduce everybody until we got it started, but we're going to get it started. You might have to hold down for it. No, they should be on their way reinforcements. Okay. They might be in labor. You're not on the team? Put them weave. Nah. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's too young for this conversation. Yeah. She's too young for this dialogue. Mm. You got. You need 15 years of uh, heartbreak and shit to get there. <laughs> you, you, you ain't got no. You need. You gotta get to your third soul, man. <laughs> Come here, have a relevant conversation. Mm. But look, I'm gonna do some uh, the panel. We are gonna uh, do a reintroduction right after this. Once uh, we get it cracking, we got my uh, co-host Corey. He's definitely in the building. He's always in the building. Yeah, I was uh, great. Stand right about you right now. I'm doing introduction. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> then we got. Terry, because when I introduce you, I'm going to let y'all say y'all shit. Okay. I got a plan. Yeah. I can't let them blow the plan. Gotcha. We got Terry in the building, Terry Garrison. We got the lovely Simona. She keep looking at me and shit like a substitute teacher. I keep getting up to sharpen my pencil. That's why she keep looking at me. We got Simona in the building, and then we got my homeboy, Paul, up in here. Uh, we doing it big, man. We got shout out to my homeboy, Britton. Whoa. I am Brittany on Whoa, uh, Instagram and all the social media. He's out here recording. We're just professionally book. done. It, it's it's going to be pretty dope. Um, and we got his assistant here. I'm in battle mode. Well, you yeah, know, I say his I'm assistant. in battle mode. Yeah, yeah I have nobody, no props nowhere. Dad, I like see. I said, the premises of the show is the battle of the sexes. Uh, we're going to discuss like different things between men and women. Like I said earlier, in particular, black men and black women. Because that's the only men and women I care about. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, we're going to talk about relationships, finances, sex, and like what's the biggest, uh, some of the biggest things that go on between as far as the division and like how we can correct them. Uh, I'm pretty much figuring that it's going to be pretty spicy. I've never used the word pretty spicy in my life, but it felt appropriate at the time. It felt very appropriate. But like I said, we're going to have a fantastic show. And I'm I'm trying to like finesse and buy time, wait for them to get here. What was you gonna say though, Corey? <laughs> um, shit. Last week I was on my Ric Flair shit. I don't know what I'm gonna be on this week, but you know it's your your co-host Corey, aka Mr. Corey GQ Fresh, aka the outgoing introvert. AKA the popular stranger. Man, we ain't buying that much goddamn time. <laughs> we ain't doing that <laughs> shit. AKA I tried my shoes this morning. AKA I got a blue hat on. I felt like it was Instagram with hashtags. Yeah. yeah <laughs> you know, trying to stall it out because, you know, when we late. I'm doing a mic check at the same time trying to see how it sounded. Uh, I'm trying to see how you sounded. I, it's really, it's really on the go. Yeah. My loud and clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And this and this thing, man, like, I'm already shitty because I'm really waiting on them. But, so, what, what's, what's been going on with you this week, man? Uh, we, we ain't get our news stories together, whatever. Yeah, um, shit, the only news story I really had this week kind of relate to this topic, the white girl in Florida. What happened in Florida? Ah, oh, man, her husband got her a coach purse for Christmas. Okay. So, she goes to... A what? A coach purse for, oh, okay, for okay. Christmas. So, she goes to, like, Best Buy, Walmart... And swap the barcodes out to get him a computer. So she got like two thousand dollars worth of electronics for three dollars and seven cent. So <laughs> yeah. That's a professional thing. How does that have anything to do with this shit? Well she said the reason she did that because her man got her something nice and she's willing to go to jail oh. for her man to oh, get her something crazy. nice. We just talked just talked to my, one of my partners about going to jail for a girl. Yeah, so she was like, I'm willing to risk my freedom mm. for you. She like, you got me a coach person. That's just like, you need this Mac laptop. Hmm. That's the only type of girl I want. <laughs> but I gotta Stupid get, bitch. I got to get my goods first. Then when you go serve your hard time, I can pen pal you. Like, we can email after you give me this MacBook Pro or whatever the case may be. But she, uh, I mean, she, she did what she had to do for him. That's like the only good I topic. I get caught, though. Shit, so Vrela's cameras. You think she you walk out with all that electronic shit for three dollars and seven cent? Shit, I'm gonna ask her. Don't that shit she right there, though. Like she had a lick on you. I don't need her. No. Her time. I, I watched that shit this weekend. You don't eat me no more. No, I went and had a double burger, fries, shake, and a piece. He of gotta give up his homosexual lifestyle if you quit. I'm just playing. Oh, I'm just playing. Yeah, I don't see why everybody's going vegan off the shit. Like, I, like mm -hmm. there you are. They don't be off. We, I can't. Do nothing with our man knocks. Can't open a peanut butter jar. Man, pickle jar. 
Look, it'd be so easy. It'd be so easy. Can you take out the trash for me? It's just so easy. Our 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 other guests have come entered the building. Uh, fashionably late. It was a lovely show. This is the, thank y'all. Thank you for coming. <laughs> I'm so sorry for my tardiness. Oh, we we expected. We, it. we expect, yeah, we expected it. Seriously, don't, don't expected. apologize. He already. It's to be expected. He's been yeah, apologize for it. I just walked in about it in five me or is it? It's in your gender. It. I just it's women. <laughs> Where should we see? Right, We've right. already started. We've yeah. live already. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Simona. Fun fact about me is I used to do synchronized swimming. Oh, Hello. Swimming. Oh, oh my god. Hey. With the in the water. Yeah, I'm putting it like that goofy yeah. shit cool. Right? Yeah, that's actually <laughs> yeah. in the Olympics. That's awesome. Was well, you the only black? Yes. Okay. Go ahead, Jamie Robinson. <laughs> Go ahead. You calling me Jackie? No, oh, she Jackie. She was out there in the grave and put that toe in the pool back on the drain. Oh, I was like. I'll wait till you finish. It's on you. Hi everyone, I am LaToya Peterson. I am the founder of LaToya Monique and Company. I currently work as a tech and security. And um, what else? I don't want to sound Wait, too no, much. And she's my PR. They say I'm a lot. She's so my PR. I don't want to be all. She's very organized. She's yes. very nerd. But um, I'm great and Happy to be here. What's the name of the fact? She's a jack of all trades. I'm definitely a jack of all trades. The master of none. I was raised by my father. What can I say? Who's this guy? I just wanted to say that. He's a real good partner for him. That's it. I don't like insults for no reason. I don't like it. Go ahead. My name is Paul Starks. I'm a highway worker for two years. A young local 120. Electrician of eight years. Pretty laid back person, real cool. Uh, basically, out here just trying to make a better Indiana for our kids, the schools, highways. And <laughs> you scratching all the floor, uh, tweaking and, and shit. Yeah. Uh, you know, just trying to do things better than our parents did and just make a better life. That's what's up. That's a P S A. You the trade signs already? Yeah. Right. <laughs> what's up? I'm with tours. Uh, I'll run the show. Oh. Uh, it's so many fun facts I can hit y'all with. I'm a um, borderline genius. <laughs> self proclaimed. Self, self, um, and I mean, everything I, when we talk, I want y'all to know that I mean every single thing I say. Even if it's said in jest, that I mean everything I say. Uh, I'm an expert in being an expert. Uh, I know exactly what I'm talking about. And I want to tell y'all off top. That what qualifies me to speak on what I speak on is because I've been trying to fuck women since I was six years old. What? <laughs> so in the process of that, I had to study women. Listen, listen, listen. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you my level of expertise is I had to study y'all from different angles and I had to like learn y'all. From six years old, let's get that make that clear. From six years old, first time. Most real men do though, like once you're. But this, to you had your turn. <laughs> But no, I real, really though, I'm gonna tell y'all like I really do feel like I'm an expert on women, and I say I say that because men in general should feel this way because we study y'all for so long. <clears throat> At the same time, it's some yeah, intricacies. It's Excuse me. Huh? <laughs> I just want to know what he's happened. giving his introduction. Oh, this is your introduction. Let him give his introduction easy. <laughs> oh my God, I thought even though everybody else was a minute and a half or less. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> It's like it's like I had to let y'all go in so I can take all your power. And no, just, okay. it's a school night, bro. We gotta get. This I don't go to school. <laughs> <laughs> but look, no, we're gonna have a good show. The whole premise of the show, though, is uh, battle of the sexes. It sounds combative, and it's gonna be combative at times, but it's not to get each other's throat. It's just like give different perspectives and a dialogue to see like what's some of the things that hinder uh, black women and black men from coming together and being great. Mm -hmm. uh, it's historically things that contributed to our uh, descent from one another. And we're just going to broach upon them. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And we gonna, we had some people send in questions where they wanted to know a uh, certain thing. A lot of questions that women ask fucking blew my mom mm -hmm. that they be in their 30s asking these questions. But we're going to talk about those too. So I just want to let y'all know that my whole makeup and shit on how I identify relationships is on a spiritual level. 
like my everything I believe in relationships. I ain't gonna say everything. Some of it's carnal, but most of the shit is like Bible based. When I say spiritual, I mean Bible based. As far as like the structure of relationships, so that's where that's where my whole viewpoint stems from. The first question I want to ask is like, and anybody can feel comfortable asking this, preferably from the women's side first. What do you think is the biggest problem between black men and black women? And if you want to speak first, you can say your name, let people know who's talking, and then you go from there. Do I look like I got something you to say? Yes, like ready. always. Yeah, you're ready. Um, there are a number of things that are wrong. I, I can't really put my finger on um, one in particular. What do you consider a problem? Like, answer the question. question. Answering the question. That's a problem for you to say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the answer to I'm my playing. question was I'm just okay. No, it's like, what do you like? Problem? Like, what do you? What's the biggest issue between black men and black women? Like, what keeps keeps them from like uniting? Like, what's the distance? The Can distance. I speak, please? Go ahead. Oh, I'm not here. here. <laughs> <laughs> I, and this is my opinion, um, and based off of what I live, you know. Um, <laughs> competition with each other. Mm -hmm. um, for some odd reason, there's a competition with men and women um, in relationships um, nowadays. And when you say competition, what exactly do you mean? Uh, when I say competition, I mean like the other party, maybe one party is feeling some type of way with um, the other party if they um, maybe make a certain action, maybe a career move, maybe um, a goal that, you know, they have planned that they succeeded that goal, they conquered that, and the other person maybe hasn't reached their goal or maybe don't even have one. Mm -hmm. So then there becomes a competition with the two. So have you experienced competition between, uh, matter of fact, I'm talking to the makeup. Have you experienced competition between you and any man that you dated or being with? Because this is like um, the first time I, yeah. at least putting those terms, I've never heard it like that. Yes, I've experienced competition between me and a fellow someone, but I didn't really feel like it was competition. I just felt like um, we were working together, but not necessarily at the same pace. So it made it seem like, well, you're working harder than me. We we're actually working to work towards the same goal. Um, but I really don't even think that it stems from, well, I mean, I, I understand what she's saying, but I really think that it's like a, uh, a cultural thing. Um, meaning like black, white, because if you look in other different ethnics or different religions and stuff, um, they kind of unite a little bit differently than the African American community. I really feel as though as a black woman black and black men, um, black women look towards white women because that's pretty much all we've known as far as like the stereotypical person. And then they think like, okay, well, um, like, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and just, you know, well, I kind of lost my train of thought. But. You're talking about unity and how it's different. Yeah, among the it's, it's different among the cultures. But at the same time, it's like um, the black women, the black men, they look at white women like, OK, she's this is what I want. You know, this is who I feel like I should have. And really, that's not it, because they're I mean, as you see now, the culture, everybody's going like you got the black men going white women. I don't really see. Are you into white men? I mean, I've seen a couple of them that I would. Uh, have you slept with a white man? <laughs> no, I've never had. I've never slept with a white man before. Have you or someone outside man? of my. Um, like, yeah. Can she fit? See, we done sidetracked. Wait, wait. <laughs> never mind, y'all. Never mind. Next question. Before, 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 before we get off this topic, I got a beautiful black wife. Uh, Parker. To touch on what she was saying, though, like I feel you, though, like, but the competition be more or less like. Okay, let's say I got this car, I got these clothes, I got this jewelry. When really y'all competing because, and you know, this ain't the fix, this is just my opinion. I feel like you're competing because you come in a situation not looking as we're going to be a team, more or less. I'm me, you, you. You know what I mean? Like, I still don't look good on my own, possibly to attract other people. It could be, or it just right. could be an ego thing, you know what I mean? But. That's where the competing starts. Because y'all don't look at each other like, it's, it's me and you. I got it's a question, just... though. So you do, do you think it's ever a control thing? Yeah. Because, see, okay, <clears throat> hear me what out. What do you mean control? So. Mm. See, a woman is dominant, but a man is more dominant. What? 
See, a if woman, he, a if woman, he knows how to leave. Mm. Yes, but listen, a woman, especially a single woman, that raises her kids on her own, yes, woman, mm -hmm. and a man come in mm -hmm. the picture, I mean, she's already dominant. I mean, even if she, a lot of men do not like that. that. And there's right. another competition. There's another part right. of competition right there. You have there. to be a weak man to yeah. not be able to. I like, agree with you 100%. Yeah. I, I see where you're going with it, but I just want to dial back far back before we just go there. I understood what you were saying about the competition. It kind of leads off to a question that I was saying. And, it, and it's like, the question was like, could you be with a woman who make more money than you? And like, so I can see where that competition part come in at because. I don't care what no man say. It's a it's a level of insufficiency to you feel when your woman make more money than you. Ego, because you it's ego, yes. and plus horrible you you, you 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 say horrible. Ego. Ego is not a horrible thing. Ego, to a point, to ego an extent. Ego keep you in check. It keep yourself. You know what I'm saying? It keep you, you know you should keep your ego in check. Like what do you mean? Like you like, should like check when, yourself. When you say if you, if a man say he feels. Funny for being with a woman who makes more than him. How's that uh, ego that needs to be checked? Because she's obviously with you, not for the same thoughts of like what you thinking. So mm -hmm. check your ego. Like well, what, don't get out in your what feelings. Is, this is not an emotional statement. That is, I, think, <laughs> I, I, completely disagree. I, I completely disagree because it is the ego. Because the man's instead of looking at I'm not saying it's not the, ego. I'm saying how is it a bad ego? Ego necessarily don't, ego don't because, make it a bad thing. Okay, because the you man is making it about himself and where he's feeling, you know, insufficient. Instead of making it about we got a power structure right. here, Do you think and that's it? why yeah. it's an ego thing, and that's why it's to the detriment of the relationship. But I also think that yes. we're in competition because as black people, we are in survival mode. So when we get together, we still trying to survive, and we don't we don't necessarily trust each other with our lives. And so that's are that's you saying like well, now? I'm not talking like black people as a community. We're talking about men and women. Are you uh -huh. saying that a man and woman don't trust each other with their lives? I saying? say a lot of times they don't. Like in what situation? In any situation. But, but right now I'm talking about specifically with relationships. Yeah. Where we were talking about men and women, a male and a woman, competing with each other in the relationship. A lot of people don't trust. Their, a lot of people don't trust their mate not to cheat, let alone with their lives. A lot of people don't trust their mate to ha to have complete control over their finances. A man that's you know threatened by a woman making more than him clearly there's some your verbiage is just, there. your verbiage is kind of messed up because you say you feel threatened. When we, I'm talking about the man, what he feels inside of himself. I'm saying no man feels adequate when his woman's making more money than him. It's I natural understand. for a man to lead the household, so it's a, that's a natural feeling for right. him not so to feel. So he feels it. like he feels like his position as the man, as the king of the castle, is threatened because the woman is making more money than him. Am I wrong? Uh, it could be. It could be. But that's it's always how the woman relates to the situation, and this is what I mean when I say this. Women abuse power. Women so, abuse. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, that's true. It's, women okay. abuse power. So it's like it, men uh, who've been. That's why I say it's hard for me to accept things for women because I don't feel like women give you things. I feel like they invest in you. I feel like every time women is something in your brains and shit that's just like I remember one day I sucked his dick. It's like because every time I personally wouldn't ever live with a woman again unless I was the breadwinner. And that's just mm. me personally. Why so, she make you feel some kind of way? Most women. I made me right. feel some kind of way. Where did you feel? It that's what, what she it was, was saying about it, was, it wasn't that she. Made herself make more money than me. It you were insecure me. in a relationship. I've never been insecure in a relationship. Uh, so the way you made that was hard. Because listen, hold on, hold on. Because this—that's just something yeah. personal. The thing with me is, no matter the level of money, I'm Whatever. always in lead. Okay. Like I, I'm always okay, in lead. To this. So it's like it don't. It's just that's just a personal secret I have myself. It's okay. not like she's doing anything or she's doing anything wrong. Right. It's just something within me. And me knowing that I couldn't be happy in that situation, I wouldn't put myself in that situation because right. it's gonna reflect that. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. So I understand. it's not an insecurity thing. You don't but think that had anything to do with your ego though? Of course it did. In a negative I'm way. And no. you don't think that was negative though? No, no. So you with that young lady that you were working out or trying to work out with? Give her the talk her talk to the microphone. I don't like this. Yeah. Uh, you uh, were you doing what you were doing with that young lady? Were you not looking to build something with her? What do you mean? 
You stayed in this woman's house with her. I didn't stay in her house. He, and then you he, just hold on. You you see you see the you hear it? That's my question. Do you hear how it goes? Say that though. Do you hear how they try to emasculate you and shit, make you feel like a little boy? Why are you that? What do you mean? Don't say that. Did you stay in his house? To his defense, he said they lived together. I didn't know that. Okay, they lived together. But you said that you were never in that woman's house. Hold on, hold on. You said that you wouldn't move in with another woman again. That makes more money than. Okay, so that has something to do with your ego. Y'all were building together. I so never said that it didn't have anything to do with my ego, but that's just a, that's a, that's a small it's factor so into it. So don't make that like the whole factor but of everything. I think her point would have been different, different had you let her finish her sentence. Matter of fact, referee. That's what I do every Saturday. You said it was, if we were saying that it would be, it was in a negative way. Your ego was in a negative way. That was the base point of what I was trying to bring. You can't make my ego negative because you want it to be negative though. That's about perspective. But you don't think it was negative? Y'all was, y'all are living together, building together. It enables me to survive. What? My ego enabled me to survive whether it's perceived as negative or positive. It's what keeps me afloat. Can another man explain this? Because maybe different words will help us. I was just on I mean, you were new to it. I just feel like uh, there's different opinions. You know, every man don't think the same. Right. But we all are. We all have that that prideful act, like just being the man of the house, which we're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. But you know, my view on it is, I believe that. Just because a man probably doesn't make as much money or probably because it's going to be somebody going to make more than the other, period, point blank. You know what I'm saying? And I do believe the system is designed for black women to make more than the black man. That's the way it's setting up. We the only race of people whose women out educate us. We the only race of people whose women earn Income earned more than us, more than a black man. We the only ones who, who we the only race who's black. Like basically, sometimes a lot of black women don't respect us. You won't really see that in another race. <laughs> now, given the fact That's that yes, shit. if you can understand so what is, we go through on the struggle, I, 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 I can't disagree. Let me tell you why I disagree. We have the same. Target, but theirs is a lot bigger than ours. I will say this. Go ahead and finish your point because I'm going to chop down two out of three of them. Go ahead. I hope you got seven more. That was a spoke. I just need for y'all to understand sometimes where we come through, come through, I mean, where we come from and the things that we go through as black men on the earth. You know what I'm saying? You know. Next. Okay. So, what I was going to say is that as far as the. As far as black women out educating black men, black women out educate every race at this point. Right. Every single one. Black women are the fastest growing group of entrepreneurs compared to every race. So it's not just about y'all. But as far as y'all having, you know, feeling that black women don't respect y'all and that's different from other cultures, I can agree with you there. Because I've seen and I've been a perpetrator of it, of just disrespecting black men. So I feel you on that one. But as far as those other two, that's nope. Yeah, I got a question for Liberal uh, Nisi over here. Who should approach who? I need a choice. Should the man approach the woman or should the woman approach the man? That's not a question you should ask for me because I go for mine. If I want you, I'm going to go for you. Uh, are you attracted to women who approach you as well? Yes, he is. That's a he. It depends. It depends on the approach. What, 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 like, she's an A nigga. What's your name? No, like, no, that's the wrong approach. That that's, not, that's the wrong approach. But still approach. It basically, no, because how it's would like, you it's like to it's be how approached? you approach a person? Mm -hmm. Cause you can't walk up to me and say, "Or would you like to be approached?" I don't even like to be approached. I know, I know, know what you're saying. Just, you know, he's not not normal. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That's a turn on. You got to. If a woman approaches you, it's a turn on. Why? I don't like it. I'm a hunter. A man will smash a woman that approaches him, but he won't keep it because he gonna think she approached other niggas too. I kind of want a girl to shop, you know what I mean? Well, that's not because men are hunters. They are hunters. Like we all like the thrill of a challenge. I like the challenge. Yeah, because I'd be like, if if it. If it's that easy, easy for me, exactly. or if I know that I couldn't get her at this, like yes. then I want her more. I've heard that if my I, entire life. If I can't life. get her, like like yeah, if I use all my tricks in the bag and I can't get her, 
then that's what's gonna make me a, you know yeah. a piece work to hard. make her yeah. yeah work hard to get her. But she can still come to you. She can still approach you in a nice way and really just have you know maybe a conversation leads to one thing oh, or right. something like that. You everything. know that's what I'm saying. If I come to you and was like you know hey how you doing or whatever however I would approach you and then I didn't want I didn't want to like date you or anything like that just a conversation. You, you never know what that but like, you never know what, what it might lead to. Right. right. You never know. I just feel like the right words at the right time might be exactly. Somebody. This right. is all about triggering depending that on the situation that they in. They probably you don't know that. <laughs> so it's just the right situation at the right time. Right. With the right words. Would you still hit her if she approached you? Yeah. If that's what she wants, she might not I'm be asking him. Yeah, it's her. It's yeah. him. No, it's up to her. It's up to him. She There's a couple more legs. things after that, but like once you get there and then you... It won't be a relationship. You just knock her off and... Keep I know. It's not a I mean... Really, man. <laughs> she's trying to really holler at you, right. holler at you. That's... That's yeah. yeah. Like, like yeah, I said, we the hunters. She's probably she married by it. That's what I'm saying. I ain't going to ask some geographic chase on the line. Yeah. Exactly. You won't ever see it again. Not a live one. They'll go eat a dead line. Yeah, that's usually how I beat up. By yeah. the time I want to so be you saying, so, you, so you saying if a chick want to fuck with you the long way, and she can kick her. I mean, she got everything. Bread winner, she she can get you together. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? Uh, you uh, I disagree up. with that. Uh, hold I disagree on, hold on. I, I, hey, you can disagree all you want. Yeah. Because you, you <laughs> again, are you a black man? You believe yeah. that you can't fall off? I'm not. Huh? Huh? Are you, you saying like like hey. is she the breadwinner and, and no, she? No, I'm saying winning? she got a little bit of change. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay, she she trying to get you together. She's standing over there, nigga. Like this. Just saying. Saying. He just pussy nigga. He just pussy nigga. What you what you want? I'm saying, would you not keep her? Hey, nigga, what you drinking? I'm about to go to the bar. Whatever you buy. Like she said, y'all acting like niggas is not going for that. So I'm trying to figure. Like I'm with you. Y'all act like niggas not going. Going for, many, for a woman that's tricking. How many niggas is free before midnight? I ain't never seen that shit. I'm talking about people. I thought she we were talking about a woman approaching a man. Yeah, that's how you should. Not, uh, <laughs> not <laughs> if men get the same deals as women to get into the no, club. No, it leads but. into the whole approach shit. Like, uh -huh. you know, the men have to approach, like I said, women ain't walking to niggas in the club. Hey, hey, nigga. She drinking on going to the They might be say, they might Some say do. you know, I see you over here drinking, I'll buy you another one if you want. Yeah, I don't know if you're doing this. Hey, I don't, no. I, it's okay. some women out there that are pack. I'm, I'm shy though. I'm or I have like social matching. anxiety. They were like next round on me. Yeah. So yeah. It, you got women yeah. that are matching. That's too. reciprocating, you know. I'm yeah. talking about that right. just gorilla. Give me your dick, nigga. Yeah, I'm trying to smash. I'm not approaching it. Well, some women are bold and you are right. And they up front. And I can't admire that. I know. But then you got women that, that dress a certain way, that's real raunchy, and like the, they like that thrill of niggas getting on them and right. chasing them and stuff, yeah. and then they won't do nothing. So they, they play like that. They play that role.